Welcome back to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, fellow Dazzlers and new players alike. What is happening? Razzle Joes are here bringing you the first in the, what is probably going to be many playthroughs of the story mode under uh, different characters that are in the game. Uh, if you haven't seen my like introduction video for Arcade Appreciation that goes kind of generally somewhat over... Pardon me. Partially over JoJo's Bizarre Adventure... Um, Right there, you can click that little uh, link in the top right and get to that. So, for those of you who uh, want to just get started, let's just get started. So, what I'm going to be doing in these uh, next few videos is just playing through the story mode as the different characters in no particular order. I'm just going to randomize and go through. Uh, Abdul is going to be played through in that video that was just linked a few uh, a few seconds or so ago. So uh, my randomizer actually had me start off with Jotaro, the main character. Not too good with Jotaro, but yeah, we'll go with it. We'll see how we do. Also, I upped the difficulty level. The game starts off on difficulty level 2. I went ahead and moved that up to 4. So you're probably going to see me get slapped around a lot more. But let's get started. Jotaro Kujo locks himself in a jail, claiming that he has been possessed. Something evil is inside of me. It must have happened recently. Jotaro, I must tell Uncle Joseph about this. Magician's Red. Jotaro, get out of there. You can come home with me. Leave me alone. I don't need you. Seems familiar. I see. Abdul, it's your turn to convince him. Mr. Drusta, I apologize if I have to get rough. I don't care, just get him out. You. Alright, except this time, Abdul's the one who's gonna get his face smashed in. Oh my goodness! So, um, I'll probably do some explaining here. So Dotro is uh, more of a close range stand, uh, close range stand user. So he can't send his stand out like Abdul just happened to uh, demonstrate for us here. All of his attacks are also more close range, so he doesn't have any projectiles or anything of that nature. But he does have lots of strength. He is also an active stand user, so that means he has to switch his stand on and off. I should stop trying to do that. Got him. Alright. And as you've already seen, we've got the blazing fists. As I like to call it. And then we have our uh, heavy hit there. Which, if you do different versions of it, you can actually do. Because uh, what? Because not only does doing, uh, not only does inputting. Okay, you need to back off, friend. Because not only does uh, inputting using a different attack strength make him fly farther, but when you're on stand on mode, you can input the attack two times and do different things depending on which attack button you're using. Uh, the input for that is um, 214, uh, 214 in your attack button, or down, down, back, back. Been watching a lot of like how to play fighting games videos, so a lot of them use a uh, annotation. They use a numpad as an annotation for uh, which direction you should be using. He's also got another ability that I don't think I use this match called Star Finger. So, anyways, cutscene time. Well, I got him out. My job is done. So it seems. The evil that you refer to is the stand, a force created by your vital energy. And Dio is the one responsible for all of this. This is pretty much going to be the same, like, cutscenes. Uh, as the Abdul one, so... I'm... Oh, no, because we get to fight Kekyoin. That's right. What's this? Could this be your doing? 
Kuju Jotaro, I'll destroy you. So if you're wondering where Kakuin came from in Abdul's, uh, Abdul's playthrough, this is where. Uh, I think I mentioned that when he starts off as someone who's being controlled by Dio. And uh, Jotaro beats him up and saves him. It's just kind of funny because if you play uh, Abdul's story, all of a sudden Kakuin is there and he's like, Yeah, I'll help you guys fight Dio. It just seems to like, come out of nowhere. It's kind of funny. So Kakuin, as you can see, is also a long-range sand user, but he's a little tricky because some of his attacks, um, you, as you can see, his sand is uh, stretchy. So that's what I mean by tricky. You can use that for like good mix-ups and other things of that nature. And his signature attack is that, the Emerald Splash. Trying to do my super, but it's not working because oh, there we go. Let's see if I can get the surfing arrow. Nope. Oh. Okay. You're supposed to team up when you do that. You know that, right? There we go. That was a surfing arrow. So what it does is, um, if you hit the opponent with it, you'll drag him in, but even if, yeah, if you hit them regardless of if you block or not, you'll drag them in. Ooh, that was close. Oh, he broke out of my tandem attack, okay. Right in the head. Something I didn't, uh, just to kind of break the sun, something I didn't talk about in my last video was. How a lot of the game, uh, the backgrounds and characters and their attacks and motions, reference a lot of stuff that happens in the manga. Like, that guy rolling around on the bed was actually attacked by, um, a... Oh, I'm probably gonna lose. Yep. He, he was stabbed by a gal that was being controlled by a Kakuin stand, higher from green. All right, time for round two. Okay, I see what's going on. Yeah, he gets hit, it backs up, and he's have, he has enough space to counterattack with his stretchy stand. Oh, that was that was poorly timed. Using my basic unit combo will win that way. Gotcha. Something I didn't mention about the um, super blazing fist, whatever, is that um, if you use it with standoff mode, it actually. You, first of all, you probably notice I can move. Um, independent of Star Platinum, and it also goes on for longer. There's a demonstration of that.
the move, Kakuin. I'll remove the evil implant now. Why did you save me? I don't know. One morning, Holly developed the stand. As a result, she became very ill. Also, in the original manga, um, they he took Kekuin home first, and then afterwards, like, oh yeah, he's being brainwashed by a blood flesh thingy. There's Kekuin. I know Yaki Kakuin will go with you. Okay then, let's go. Jotaro, Joseph, Abdul, and Kakuin travel to Egypt. In this version, their airplane doesn't get attacked by a sand user, forcing them to travel by land. Yeah, I don't think in I don't think Jotaro fights Palmraf. Hey you, I can sense your evil intent. You must be my enemy. <laughs> I swear the dialogue in the actual manga and anime is better written than this. But apparently Jotaro has done it. And given him all the hate he needs to curse Jotaro. <laughs> Whatever, dude. I'll just punch you in the face. Oh, okay. That's how it's gonna be, is it? I think I'm just gonna use this first, because you never. I've never seen him whip out Ebony Devil in round one, so I'll just fill up some meter right now. Oh, hello. Oh, I don't wanna do that. Oh, here he comes. Trying to hit me with them low attacks back off. There we go. priority over that attack, so I got whacked. That's pretty epic, though. I picked Jotaro a lot when I was younger, but I started playing other characters like Abdul, and I was like, you know what, I like this guy better. Just... There we go. Also, if you're wondering why I'm playing the, um, I believe this specific version is a Euro version, um, it's mainly just because you guys can actually read what they're saying. Uh, I would play the Japanese version, but I, one, wouldn't be able to read it out loud when it's text that we haven't seen in the previous episode, and, uh, just, yeah. <laughs> and for anybody who hasn't played the game, you know, they can read the text. That's, you know. That's just how it is. Well, Iggy, Iggy, Iggy's a fun guy. Unfortunately, Jotaro won't be picking up and throwing Iggy at Indul in this version. We'll just be making our way downtown. Look at that. Look at that swag walk. I love that his um, light attack without his stand on is just kneeing the person with his hand in the pocket. It's like, eh. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just kick you in the face. Oh, 
Oh, that was kind of productive. There we go. I'm gonna keep standoff so it's, uh. I can just Blazing Fist, uh. Start Platinum away from me. Give me. Give, uh, give myself more control over, uh, Jotaro. Plus, I can team up with, uh, Star Platinum and hit some attacks in two. Ow. Ow, again. More ow. Am I almost okay? I'm, I'm almost to, uh, in duel. No, back off. Ouch. There we go. Problem solved. <laughs> Your disappointing performance only fuels my anger. What an angsty boy. The journey continues to calm Ombo. I probably butchered that, but... Anubis. So, you are Jotaro. I'll slash you to ribbons. You. Make a mind. I think that's supposed to be a translation of Yaro, which is something Jotaro says a lot. Which is basically, I think is basically like saying you in, Jap in J Japanese, but it's more of a... I don't know. I'm only making assumptions. <laughs> And I'm getting slashed to ribbons. Back off, Jack. Fun fact, when uh, Chaka is pulling out Anubis, you can actually... You can, he's uh, open. Oh, yeah, I'm done for. Now you know what happens if a su slashing super finishes somewhere. Wait, I'm like, I'm sitting here waiting. Ooh, quick on the quick on the drop it. There we go. Alright. See, Chaka is actually being smart and putting Anubis away so he doesn't get stand crushed. Stand crash on. Gotcha. That was close. I really gotta learn how to guard cancel. But we win. So. See, then. Oh, I gotta fight a lassie. Cool. That's an odd sight, seeing someone fall from a window like that. What did you say? Are you talking about me? Isn't it obvious? I know who you are. You're the new stand wielder, aren't you? <laughs> Impressive. Good job. You. 
I like how it's like, they don't even say enemy stand, they just say new stand wielder. No. Now see, here's where Jotaro has a little bit of a problem, because he's got a close range stand and no projectiles, so unless he can just sit here and harass him with his gun and other long range attacks. So I'm actually gonna just do. Oh, but that was close. I'm just gonna know if I can. There we go. Do the input, right? I'll just hang back here and. He beat me by pushing me away. I guess he's ooh, taking lessons from uh, Theo. For you uh, Metal Slug fans out there. Ouch! Alright, I'm going on the offensive. <laughs> I was about to hit me with a super, but... Oh no! Like it? Oh no, okay. I like that, because uh, Star Platinum will fly out to him and start attacking him. So it's kind of like the same strategy I've been using here. You just hit him from far away. Because he likes to randomly do those attacks, even though I'm nowhere near near him, so, so so he can poke me. That's what he's doing. He's trying to put me in a corner, and then he's going to use his stand to, uh... Still trying to get good at playing fighting games on a joystick. Oh, he hit me. Just keep kneeing you in the face. The, the, the set strategy seems to be working for some reason. <laughs> there we go. No child joke throw for you. Jotaro and company arrived in Egypt, looking for Dio. Where on earth is it? Hey, check it out. This must be the mansion. I can sense an overwhelming presence of evil. He is here. Our journey has finally come to an end. Seeing as there's no one to greet us, we should let ourselves in. Now I have to fight Vanilla Ice. I'm not gonna call him Ice, because it's just stupid. What could have caused this? Not those group. But I like how Kakyoin, like just dramatically poses whenever he talks. That's the thing he does in the game. Oh, he's really mad. He's so mad that his, uh, his jacket is just flapping in a non-existent wind. Let's 
see if I can get a perfect on. Oh, that was close. Ow. Okay, no perfect from here. No. No. That was easy enough. Hmm. Okay, I always screw. <laughs> I'm trying to do a tandem attack, but like, oops. in the original JoJo's Venture, he was a uh, quite the difficult person. Die, Jotaro! He just shatters like a cheap clay. So he's a vampire after all. Ice was reduced to a pile. Vanilla ice was reduced to a pile of ashes after being exposed to sunlight. Dio's room could be upstairs. Check out the scum I found. Polnareff, where are Abdul and Nagy? They couldn't make it here alive. They sacrificed themselves to save me. I see. Hey, Lusaku, take us a deal. Please don't hurt me. Menacing. That's what those little characters mean. That's that's a thing from the JoJo's manga. Not like anything strange or threatening happens, those little characters pop up on screen. What? If he stayed in there like that, he would have killed us easily. Maybe, maybe not. Haha! <laughs> now it's time to fight the world! Jotaro, stay away! Get out of here! Let's start with the old timer. The world! I finished Kaku in as well. You're next to fall. Alright, well, I'm just gonna punch you in the face. Oh. Actually, I'm gonna wait. Do it up. Yeah, I was waiting for him to do that, but I screwed it up. He likes to like randomly send out the world to do that. His own blazing fist. So you can kind of just like wait for him to finish, and then hit him, because he has to wait for his stand to finish punching for whatever reason. Because I think if he just yeah, I think if he just does it. I don't know if he can move independently of, uh... I forgot, it's been a while since I've played Dio, but... Oh no! How did... How did Joseph's body get there? Joseph's blood is so tasty. I feel refreshed now, Jotaro. I'll show you no mercy. It doesn't matter to me by what method victory is achieved. You will die now. All right. Also, if you're wondering why the world can rapid fire punch and stuff like that, uh, Jotaro and Dio's stands are very similar to one another. Hmm. 
Oh, I was gonna try to scan crashing. Oh. Right in the knees. Alright, let me see if I can try to do it. for days. Nope! Oh. I'm trying to react fast enough. So that's what, two for Joe Thoreau? Now we gotta start all over again. This first half of the fight, you don't keep your meter from round one to round two. So you can go ahead and just use it, it'll just reset back to one when uh, it skips to the part where Dio superpowers himself. Alright, no screwing around this time. My secret technique. Knee to the face. Oh! You and your teleporting. Alright, we're almost there. Yep, there we go. My own skill or the game reducing the difficulty? You decide. Die, Jotaro! Boom! No! It doesn't show it in this version, but what basically happened was Dio tried to kick Jotaro in the head. Star Platinum hits him, and Star Platinum punches the world so hard that he literally shatters. By transferring the blood of Dio, Joseph has been revived. Now my debt to Dio has been paid. The irony. Jotaro places Dio's body under the light of the sun. Dio is reduced to ashes. So it's finally over. We survived thanks to our friends. Kakuin, Avdol, Iggy, thank you. We finally won. At the airport, Jotaro and Joseph prepare to return to Japan. I'll miss you. Really, I will. Call me anytime you need me. I'm here for you. Even after all the problems, I feel like I enjoyed this bizarre adventure. Take care, you old-timer and a sheep grandson. Don't ever forget about me. See you later, that is if you don't hate me, you weird haired freak. Your wonderful personality will keep me from hearing you. Good luck. And they all go their separate way. Well, I mean, Joltaro and Jonathan go back to Japan, but. They're returning, yes! Dad and Joltaro, they are coming back! Yeah, Holly gets saved, because. The curse has been lifted, or their stand like disappears because you. I don't know. They don't really explain it very well. <laughs> they don't. They don't explain it very well in the manga. It was somehow I think it was getting rid of Dio, like 
made it so Holly stopped developing a stand. Because the whole thing with sand, the reason why Holly gets ill from the sand is that um, a stand is a manifestation of your fighting spirit, of your life energy. And you have to have a strong enough fighting spirit or will to control it. So Holly is a very gentle, non-violent, non-fighting soul. So she didn't have essentially the spiritual strength to control her stand and it started, started, started to hurt her. There's cases of that happening in other parts of Jojo, I believe? Where like a stand can get out of control from its user. But I don't have any on hand, so I only have a chance if there's any uh, Jojo fans watching this that know, you can sound off in the comments. Or not, that's cool too. So. Um, just sit here and watch the credits, I guess. Oh yeah, we didn't fight Midler either. It's just kind of just like absent. I think like everybody does like 10 fights. You know what I should do is instead of randomly selecting characters, I should do the uh, bottom row first. Like all the characters that we aren't going to see, like we don't get to see in like challenge mode and all that stuff. Just, you know, because everybody's going to be fighting every, like everybody in the top row is going to be fighting everybody in the top row. I believe for the most part, so... Might as well start off with that and show off the characters that we aren't going to see in the story mode. Or challenge mode, even. I think that'd be, I think that'd be cool to do. I'll, I'll do that, yeah. I'll do that first, then. Next one will be someone from the bottom row. And then we can go back, do the top row, and then do the secret dudes. Dio seems like that idea a lot. Alright, I'm just going to... Put myself in his ah. Just there you go. So that's Jojo's Bizarre Adventure done with uh, Jotro. Uh, like I mentioned, I'm a pretty big amateur at this game, so it's kind of done more for just showing you the story mode and characters, and not really so much for look at how cool I am. I mean, again, if you can play through this game at maximum difficulty, with no continues, you cool. I'm not putting you guys down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, uh, I'm more about like just showing the games off than, than showing off how good a player I am at them. So, anyways, my name is Russell Joestar. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Uh, become a Dazzler today. That's my word for subscribers. Uh, if you ring the bell, you become a Ringling Dazzler. You can be updated on when I upload videos because I just tend to throw stuff out whenever. So you can become uh, keep updated on that. We also got our Kofi and Patreon if you wish to financially help support the channel. Uh, as I've mentioned in some of my other videos recently, I also do have an eBay shop going. Right now I've just got a bunch of Magic the Gathering cards, but I'm going to start putting more of a variety on there, and I'll just be uh, throwing that silently into the description at some point. I mean, I'll mention when I'm doing it in the video, but again, I'm not going to like bludgeon you guys over the head with it. Or maybe I will. I don't know. But what I do know is... That's something bizarre and you don't see too often, so I'm going to end it on that note. Take care, everybody. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next chapter, episode, part, series, game, whatever. I don't know. But that guy just got his face beaten.